Hello modelers, welcome to my workspace. This is video workbench uh, video number two in my series of what to do about how to get your iPhone set up to video. I now have a tripod and uh, audio system assigned to my iPad, excuse me, my iPhone, so that I can actually show people what I'm working on here at the bench. And uh, here is my uh, Academy 72nd scale P38 Lightning, which I've been working on. Still a lot of work to resume on seams. One thing I did get accomplished recently was the leading edge light in the left wing has been cut from a piece of sprue, clear sprue, glued in place, polished, and sanded to shape to conform to the shape of the airfoil leading edge. And so that was done effectively. I hope that that will be masked off really well. I have acquired the Foxbot decals for the stenciling. I have the mask set, which I'm hoping to, to get back to use very soon. And I've also acquired the gun barrels from Master Barrels in turned brass for the, the business end of the P-38. Hopefully that that will be a, a good detail to add to this whole thing. I have the decals for uh, Charles McDonald's Putt Putt Maru that I've acquired from the old uh, 1970s vintage uh, Ravel P-38 Lightning. Nowhere near the detail level of the Academy kit, but still, the, the this is the Ravel of Germany boxing, so the decals are actually uh, pretty well done. I have acquired a book. AJ Press from Poland has a series called the Model Mania monograph, and in it, it's like a complete in one place reference, color detail photographs of restored P-38s, great artwork, including the artwork for Charles McDonald's Putt Putt Maru, that is really well done. There are scale plans in here. In the very back of the book, there is a um, section on detailing the kit for the uh, the uh, uh, trumpeter 132nd scale P38 kit. So that's what I've got going currently. Next, as I discussed in the last video, I'm going to be working on the Kai 84 um, in 32nd scale from Hasegawa that I had acquired from the estate sale from Irv Engelhart's um, models. I have um, for some time been subscribing to different model magazines, particularly out of the UK, on um, digital stuff. So on my iPad, I have a section for that. And one of the things I occasionally buy is individual copies of Mig Jimenez's um, weathering magazine. And so this particular article was done by a, a European modeler named Barak uh, Caroli, who had actually done the same kit from Hasegawa in 32nd scale. And he shows in this, in a step-by-step -step manner, how he detailed certain parts and painted them, including all of the chipping that was done inside the cockpit interior, as well as... The exterior of the airframe, which he painted in Alclad before he ever got around to painting it. So the the, the Alclad finish is done with the MIG Alclad, which is the same stuff, the same product that regular Alclad is is, and it is a lacquer which goes on and sprays very fine for a natural metal finish. Then, what he had done was he used a masking medium uh, in sort of a I think this is the, the uh, Gunze, um, Mr. Mask, or whatever it's called, that they put on to um, mask certain areas. And he had stippled this stuff up as with a, with a stiff brush so that it would actually go in place and then be painted on top of that, and then the masking is later removed. Another thing that I really enjoyed here was his very extreme pre-shading that was done um, after the outclad, after the masking material went on, and then he did all of this before the final coats of paint, which were in turn weathered by stripping away the masking material to reveal the natural metal underneath with a 
very, very effective job with um, up close detail work on the, the chipping itself, which I hope to replicate a lot. For this, I'll be using Humbrol Maskol, which is a very uh, similar product to the Gunze uh, masking material. And again, I think the, t the technique is not all that different than the uh, hairspray technique. I don't have any hairspray. I don't really have much use for it myself. But I do have a use for the Humbrol Maskol, so that's what I'll be doing. Anyway, that's sort of the um, update on what I've been doing with getting my video system all set up and be able to work on all of this. Um, hopefully sharing the details with you. I miss not going to the model meetings. I miss not seeing your guys and your smiling faces. So um, hopefully you're taking care of yourself. You're getting some model building done. I do enjoy the pictures that I'm seeing on our Facebook page. So continue to do those fun things. Uh, find what fun you can in this whole thing. And hopefully before too very long, we'll be actually able to meet together and share a laugh together in person. Thanks very much for having a look. If there's any suggestions that you'd like to see in terms of um, how I've got my system set up here in my workbench, um, I'd be happy to entertain those things. Um, I did spend a little time cleaning up in here because I knew I was going to be inviting you into my home to see uh, what's going on with this. You know, uh, setting up a video like this is a lot like having company come over. So... Hopefully that makes sense and it's not too strange. Thanks very much for all of you, what you do and posting and all that kind of good stuff. Take care of yourselves and I hope to see you soon. Keep on modeling.